What's up, everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here, doing another rad movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. I finally got a chance to check out this epic titan battle, so let's talk about it. Non-spoiler review. Roll it. So, Kong vs. Godzilla, an epic titan battle of two of the greatest monsters we've ever seen in cinema history. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this film. And right off the bat for me, the key, key positive is going to be the awesome CGI and the beautiful scenery. They definitely didn't spare any expense in this film. It is top-notch the way it looks. Kong and Godzilla, their graphics are amazing and we get a lot of time of them battling in different locations awesome shots like we're right there in the fight scenes with them and everything so it definitely leans more towards the monsters a lot of the previous films were more human heavy in the storyline and this one's definitely more heavy on the monsters and stuff for sure you get to see a lot more of them and like i said beautiful shots very well lit so you can see everything clearly so that's what i really liked the sound mixing and sound effects is on point too very loud in your face just boom smashing action so that's why it's it's definitely one of those films that's going to keep your eyes on the screen because it's got so much bright imagery, so many cool shots and action sequences and all the monsters get their awesome hero shots, you know what I mean, that you really want. So that's why I really, I really dug that for sure. Also, just just the vibe of the film, it's kind of really like this cool vibe of just something so unrealistic and unfathomable, but you still like want to believe it and want to imagine that this could be possible, you know, these two crazy monsters fighting in our world and everything. So that was really cool. I like all those aspects about it. And like I said, Adam Wingard really did good on kind of acknowledging a lot of the problems that they had in the previous films and like, you know, kind of sideline the humans in this one like that could be a problem for some people but the storyline and the sideline kind of takes the bench seat to the monsters who are the key stars in this film and the main main part of it and that's why I really like that for sure the music and the score too is very um very uh like influential and like creates like an atmosphere there's certain scores for Godzilla like they mimic like the original old school ones that feel and then King Kong has his own kind of little score too so they each get their own treatment of being special characters and stuff so that was really cool I enjoyed that so let's get down to talking about the negatives of this film and for me one of the negatives is definitely more of a Kong storyline film it definitely if i was to say this is kong is like the main character main actor in this film it's mainly his storyline as you can see i got my godzilla shirt on i am team godzilla so being a very kong heavy storyline it kind of bothers me a little bit i could have done with a little bit more godzilla you know humanizing him making him more of a character or her more of a character you know what i mean because king kong he got all his epic shots and like more humanization of his face and just the way he reacted to the humans and stuff and I know Godzilla doesn't have a lot of human interactions or anything like that that happens but they still could have done a little bit more with that for sure also the length it's under two hours and I could have done with the two hour and a half film of them duking it out with some crazy storyline stuff and battling and everything because I just sat down ugh, I just sat down and enjoyed the Snyder Cut which was four hours so I definitely could have done a little bit more time of watching these monsters fight each other like I said it's very fast paced and that kind of bothered me because it kind of jumped from point A to point B to point C really fast and I could have done like I said with a little more connection a little more storyline it kind of felt like some of it was just conveniences that they just had to write in because they wanted it to go really fast and speed up and stuff so that was kind of an issue for me also, the humans, they're very sidelined in this film. We got Millie Bobby Brown and Alexander Skarsgård in this. Some amazing actors all across the board, but they're very underutilized. Their kind of scenes are just there to deliver lines or exposition or get us to the next scene. Like, they're not really engaging emotional scenes. It's not going to pull you in like that. This is more of a visual feast for your eyes. So, definitely, those things are kind of negatives for sure, is completing it to being a whole awesome piece of cinema, but action monsters all on point 
all over the place, battling it out, duking it out. Like I said, you're going to love it. If you really like action films and you're not into connecting with stories too much, you're really going to love this. This is right up your alley for sure. In my book, Kong vs. Godzilla is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. This is a very solid, entertaining film. Like I said, a visual feast for the eyes. But like I said, I could have done with a little bit more Godzilla storyline. I would have appreciated that. Some more, the actors, a little bit more delivery and better lines and everything. That would have helped too. And the pacing. Like I said, I could have done with it being a little bit longer and that wouldn't have bothered me at all. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this rad movie review. Let me know in the comment section who are you for, Team Godzilla or Team King Kong? Which one are you for? And definitely stick to the channel. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos I put out. Have a safe and happy day, guys. Peace out.